can you um, please begin by introducing yourself and describing what you do? Uh, my name is Martin Creed and I, uh, uh, well, I don't know, I, 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 I try to live my life as in the world I find myself in and I try to, f uh, I think I spend most of my time trying to um, f help myself to feel better because uh, most of the time I don't feel so good. That's, um, that's interesting, mostly because um, repetition is so integral to your work and uh, repetition for me is a means to uh, feel better. Yeah. Do you I, uh, I think for me, um, uh, r uh, rhythms and things that repeat are, uh, are comforting and uh, I think that's uh, why I try to work on music as well. Um, but also uh, r rhythms and repetitions in visual works, um, I, I think I find I uh, helpful and comforting. It's like, it's, um, it's, uh, and I think a, a lot, it's almost like a, um, it's like a fence that, um, like a fence, you know, with the bars on the fence, uh, that, um, uh, it's like, a, um, uh, I, for example, if you're in a wild jungle, you know, a, a, um, a fence in front of the jungle, it kind of like helps you to enjoy looking at the jungle without getting eaten by the lions. Makes me think of the bars on a cot for a baby. Too. Aye, right, aye, exactly, aye. A super safe place. But so, and I, and I, I think, I, I think, well, I, I think of my work is like, I think I definitely doing, uh, doing things helps me and I feel like it's like a, if I can make something that's simple and solid, then it's like a, um, handrail or something to hang on to in an ever-changing uh, world. So why why then though do you think that um, so many people uh, find your work hard, right? So I mean the, <laughs> the, the Turner Prize piece is the best example, right? Someone threw an egg at it. Um, but a lot of people find your work really hard. Why? Eh, if, if people find it hard, then I don't, then that's a mystery to me. Because, <laughs> but, but it might be because it's so easy. You know, because, um, the, uh, you know, maybe it's hard, maybe it, it's, it, uh, like something that, like the lights going on and off is a, what is just a really simple, you know, little experiment to try to make something happen in a room uh, without putting something in the room because there was nothing that I believed in enough to put it in the middle of the room and say, hey, look at this, isn't it great? You know, which is basically when you have an exhibition, that's what you're doing. You're, you're saying, look at this, you know, isn't it great? And if you don't feel like there is anything that's that great, you know, it's a problem. And so the, the lights going on and off was a sort of solution to the problem of, of uh, trying to make something that, that was, wasn't like choosing a specific thing, but more like just doing something with the world, you know, and just switching the lights going on and off was a way of trying to do that. But um, I don't think there's, you know, I think it's simple and, you know, stupid, really. You know, that's like a stupid work, you know. Uh, uh, and um, But so maybe someone might find that difficult if they think that there ought to be more to it than that, you know. Some of the work, though, it, that is really hard. I mean, um, the, there's famously videos of people pooing. Um, All right. Even the, the work... <laughs> It's physically hard where you had, um, the, I can't remember, it's work number 850 or something where people are running up yeah. and down the gallery. That's physically difficult. All right, the, aye. The, the bells ringing, that's physically impossible, right? You couldn't get every single bell. Ah, exactly, aye. So, so they are, they are quite difficult. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean, aye. I agree. Uh, 
Do you like that? Do you, do you like the tension between how simple something is and how difficult it can be? Um, no. <laughs> I want it to be. You know, I want it to be easy. You know, but um, I think the problem is that um, um, that life isn't easy. You know, and um, so I'm really. I think the thing I'm most scared of is uh, uh, is. Um, of uh, that I'm kidding myself, that I'm sort of deluded somehow, you know. So when and so when I work, I try not to kid myself, you know. And um, so that and that makes every decision kind of very uh, difficult, partly because you cannot get out of yourself, you know. And um, so I don't know if that's, if that's, if that, I don't know if that really answers the question, but maybe that does result in things often being quite difficult, you know, because you, you know, because basically you can't, you can't really live your life without, really functionally, I don't think, without kidding yourself, kidding yourself, you know, basically. I think that's why people go mad is when they don't, you know, like, um, or, or find it difficult to cope with life if you don't, because if you don't think, if you don't secretly think that you're great, you know, then life's very difficult, I think. And so, um, so in other words, you have to kind of slightly delude yourself that, um, to be able to, you know, kind of uh, function. So is, it, so is it all then just a massive coping mechanism? It's all the work. Aye, definitely, aye. Because I, I think that you know, well, the whole of life, and I, I would, I would not distinguish between life and work. I wouldn't distinguish what I do, like what I'm doing now, from when I was having a coffee earlier this morning, from when I'm doing a painting, you know, that might be called an artwork by someone, although not by me. But uh, you know, I wouldn't distinguish. So life's just a big blobby mess, you know. And um, uh, and 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 I think it is a matter of coping because it's uh, because um, I, you know as far as as far as I can can know anything about what I, what I myself am doing, you know, I find myself here in this world as far as I'm aware, you know. And I try to do my best in the situation I find myself in, you know. But you re you really don't think your your paintings are art? You did that's not. Well, I wouldn't call them art only because Why? I don't um, know what art the word art exactly means, you know. But, uh, at, uh, at, well, and because I don't know because I wouldn't because I don't find it helpful when I'm working to think. I mean, so so I I think that what I think art is anything that people collectively think is art. You know that that's what art is. So, in other words, it's not. In other words, it's a kind of very difficult to pin down. It's like a, it's like love. You know, it's like magic or something like that. It's like it's not. You know, you can't. It's you can't really pin it down. You know. So it's a bit emperor's new clothes. Well, you, well, it's not, no, I don't know, it's not, no, it's not that, no, because I think it's, no, I mean, the, fe the, the feeling that I have that would be called, probably that would be called, you know, a, a kind of art feeling, like looking at a beautiful thing, you know, is a bit, you know, that's like the best feeling in the world, that is like love, you know, but, um, but, but it's not, there's no, it's difficult to um, pin down and um, so, I, so like, if if I think, okay, I'm gonna make a a work of art, you know, I wouldn't know where to start. But if I say I'm gonna try and make a painting, you know, well, you know, then I can start, you know. I guess that's sort of um, um, tied into something I see present in a lot of the work, and even in the way that you title. 
um, your paintings. I don't know if I can explain this as well as I would like to, but that there's mm. this act of disappearing, you know, with the lights going on and off or the bells ringing and then stopping or the runners running and then stopping. Um, or the, the essay where you describe, uh, leaving the, the island that you have a house on and that, that, <laughs> the, the going away from it, the, the, the act of it disappearing is, is sort of beautiful to you. Um, and then the counting for me feels like you're, you're counting the works and that you're suggesting that the counting's going to stop. One, one day it will just stop. Does right. That, does that resonate with you at all? Uh, well, I think num the counting or numbering thing is just like trying to, you know, desperately trying to control the, you know, a situation that you, that, want, that, you know, tr trying to give things numbers, you know, it's like a desperate person, you know, trying to, <laughs> trying to, um, can, you know, think that he's in control of his life, you know, but, um, uh, it's, I don't know if, um, but what about disappearing? What about, um, the idea that, that that your art will outlive you, but that you're you're sort of making it uh, it's so present, it's so in the moment, so much of it is so present in the moment. You know, the the balloons filling half their Aye. space. Um, well, the <clears throat> um, I I think that. Is it's, that's a very important um, part of things. I think that um, I think I've got into trying to make work that is more like a. I mean, I I think of an exhibition pretty much as a like as a theatrical event, you know. So even if there's paintings, you know, a a, a, a painting is more or less a fixed thing, even though it can. Uh, degrade over time, but let's say like it, but it degrades quite slowly compared to let's say you know if you make you know a cake you know which would dry out fast you know but a painting might take you know uh, hundreds of years or even thousands of years to degrade fully you know but then it's just a question of speed really you know. Nothing lasts forever, you know, or not, and it doesn't stay the same anyway. But, um, and anyway, nothing is, you know, you can't separate anything from people's experience of it. And since people are living beings who, who, who die, you know, uh, uh, it, it basically means that nothing's ever the same, you know, from moment to moment. So I, so I think that, that thinking about that got me into thinking, oh, I should, I need to make work in the light of that. And so, and I think that's got me into making a lot of work that does change, that, that is basically like a live, more or less like a live event. But that comes from thinking that everything is a live event. You know, a, a painting on a wall is a live event because the painting's only on the wall if if people are looking at it and sort of realize realizing this on the wall, you know, and and the, and so the combination of the painting and the people that's a live event. The people are moving around, you know, chatting, whatever. And so, in a way, that if you have a if you have a, a performance, let's say, where some people are dancing or whatever, you know, then it, the only difference there is that both the thing being looked at and the people watching it are both living beings, but basically it's always just a live event, you know. And I think thinking about that got me has got me into making a lot more, because th thinking that's present in everything, therefore I ought, maybe I should try to work with it, you know. Because in a way a painting, because it tries to fix something, a traditional painting, I mean, you know, not, because I know there's all kinds of paintings. You might do paintings with LEDs or something, you know. That, but a traditional painting tries to fix something, but that in its, you know, in, which is which in itself is a denial of reality, you know. I hadn't thought about this until just now, but the the broccoli paintings sort of take that up as their subject in a funny kind of way, right? Because the broccoli in your hand is is breaking down as you're painting, it, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh yeah. 
Aye, well, that's true. You cannot use broccoli more than once. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> really? It's just the one time? Aye. What do you do with it? Aye, you... It's a very expensive <laughs> paintbrush. What do, you, what do you do with the broccoli when you finish? Well, I throw it out. <laughs> and uh, and uh, aye, because you can't even eat it afterwards. Although maybe if you were careful about it, you probably could eat some of it. But um, So there's just massive piles of rotting broccoli with paint on them somewhere? Aye, well, they, I don't know um, where they went exactly, but... <laughs> I, um, I like broccoli. But while we're while we're talking about um, painting, wait, you like broccoli? I'm going to go back to that. You like broccoli to eat as well? Yeah, to eat. That's why I get into this broccoli thing because, well, it actually came about because um, I, I was trying to think of a record cover for a for a seven inch single, and. I'm just trying to think of what I could put on the cover, and I and I thought that uh, that that was about the size of a head of broccoli, because <laughs> I'm in a lot of contact with broccoli because uh, I eat it every day pretty much, and um, and I like it a lot. So so and I just thought, oh, yeah, that's about the size of broccoli, and I, and then I just thought of doing a print with it, like a potato print. And then when I saw, but when I saw the print, the first one I tried, I realised that, or I thought it looks like a tree, you know, in a way it looked like a beautiful drawing of a tree, you know. And I just liked that, and um, and uh, I thought it was funny, and or, or something like that. But are, are there yeah. other things you do every day? I mean, when you sat down for the interview, you said you record all your interviews. Are there other things that you? Yeah. Well, I try and I record all interviews because I try. I don't really throw anything out, you know. I, like I, I try to keep. I think that except you know, for the broccoli, you throw that away. I, <laughs> <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. Um, but uh, the I don't, you know, I. I think you cannot know, you know, when you. I, I think that you can't really know what you're, what what you're doing, you know, what you're. Like I, I feel like I can't really know what my work is, and so I, sh I should try. So when I'm working, who knows whether the painting I'm working on is is better than the splashes on the floor that made from trying to do the painting? You know, it's like, and and I and I feel like you can't really know at the time what you're because you're all because you're in the moment yourself you can't really you're not aware really of what you're doing it's like body language you know it's probably really clear to someone else what you're what what you're like but you can't really know what you're like at the time or it's difficult so that that's why so I try to record things and and um, in case some idea comes up if I want to try and remember it I might go back to the recording and I keep all you know working bits and pieces but um I suppose I don't keep broccoli because that might probably start to smell a bit, you know, or something. But that makes I, could, sense. I suppose I could put it in the fridge. But uh, but um, what's the what's the process like of painting? Not not just with the um, the broccoli pieces, but the uh, the step paintings. I'll call them step paintings, stack paintings. Um, what's the what's that process like for you? Well. Um, those the, the the these stacked pa stack paintings are are planned paintings so the process of doing them is very matter of is quite matter of fact um but the basic idea is to try and make a painting that um we, uh, well that I'm happy with <laughs> and um and I didn't know what brushes to use, so I tried to use, you know, the, from big to small. And all the different stack paintings are variations of that, like small, medium and large brushes or, or the whole packet of brushes, you know. And, uh, and the painting more or less designs itself. Do you uh, use a new paintbrush every time? No, no, no. No, no I wash the brushes. <laughs> so you're not throwing those away? No, no. 
Um, but one of the ideas behind the, the behind or in front of those works is that uh, that, um, that everything's visible, that nothing is, and that's I think something I try to do in a lot of work is try not to hide anything. So so in those paintings there isn't generally any underpainting or you know you can see basically how it was made. You know you can it's like being able to see the layers of of uh, the bricks, the layers of bricks in in, in a building. But there's a real, um, yes, you can see it, but there's a real, you've sort of removed yourself from the making in that you're saying, here's a brush, I'm going to use that brush. Here's a, another brush, I'm going to use that brush. Aye. So not everything is totally on the surface, right? Or actually is it? Um, you mean because of the thought process that, that went yeah. into... Aye. Well, aye, that's true. Um, uh, and um, I suppose it's uh, uh, I. I'm never, you know. I feel like I'm. Well, uh, I think that makes me think that I think that's why I get into trying to write songs because of and trying to use words as well to try and. Um, or combining words with pictures or words with music, you know, to try and um, uh, kind of go through a process of thought. So like a, a, a song might be, you know, a kind of little process of thought, you know, uh, um, you know, combined with a uh, distinct rhythm. Um, Which is really... It, so it might be like, talk, in other words, talking about, you know, it, it might be just talking about something like the brushes or, you know, Whatever. Which that's pretty apparent in the the music video uh, with people in New York walking across the street, right? That repetition. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Ah, right, well, I, the idea of that was just to yeah to um, uh, get all kinds of different people crossing the street. H how did you go about making that? How, did you just literally tap people on the shoulder on the street? Um, no, we actually, no, um, I, I contacted a lot of disabled charities because um, it, it, it kind of came from um, uh, do this other thing that I did with people running, you know, and, um, and, uh, uh, and then the, the, um, uh, the work I made with people with uh, ballet dancers, and um, and so then I had the idea of having people. So, so the, the the people the running piece was like that. That uh, that came from thinking that basically everything I do involves me moving my body. You know, so if I'm doing a painting, I move my body to do that. Or and if I um, if I if I make a phone call to ask someone to help me with something, I'm you know I need to move my so moving my body comes before everything you know it's like the first sign of life, and so I thought that I ought to try and work make work with people moving their bodies you know, and all I could think of was like people moving as fast as they possibly can you know just to make it obvious what that they were moving. <laughs> You know, and that led to the people running, basically sprinting, you know, through the, the, the gallery when, that I did at Tate Britain the first time. And, um, and that, and then after that, I kind of get, uh, get into invest, like trying to break down movements a bit. And, uh, I worked with ballet dancers because that was like a, because ballet is like an off the shelf. A structured breakdown of people of different ways to move, you know. So I looked into that, and then that led to the eventually the w walking across the street, because um, I, I wanted to try and have um, just have people walking in all different ways, basically, you know. Because I, I feel like people, I, I like watching people move, you know, and and so I just invited loads and loads of people. Including a lot of disabled people who move in all different kinds of ways, you know, and um, and 
and then I and then and then I and then I, and then I, and then I thought, well, where could they do this? You know, and I've made I, I, I've made videos in the past where like people vomiting and shitting, and uh, I did those all in a white room because I thought of because I thought to try and um, have a you know just a blank background where the action is the most important thing, but. Uh, partly because white backgrounds are really difficult when um, when you're in videos, they it can come ac come out really. It, it can often look a bit dirty, or you know, <laughs> and uh, and I just get sick of that. And I thought, I oh, know I should do it in the world. So this video with people moving in different ways, you know, in all these different like, eccentric different ways, you know, I should do that in the world somehow. And and then I just thought, well, they could cross this if they crossed a road, you know, that would be. Uh, like a real thing, you know, going it's, from A to B, you know. It's quite difficult to watch those in in some instances because when you're worried they're going to get run over when they're quite slow. <laughs> right. But then also, you know, the the there's a man in jeans and he's pulling himself aye. along, and that's that's tough to watch. Aye, aye. Well, he, well, yeah. Well, that was a, it was a, I, um, it was a difficult work to make that, and it involved a lot of, um, you know, talking with the people who were doing it. But, um, but I didn't want anyone to use, you know, um, apparatus like walking sticks or wheelchairs. You know, and I wanted to show people moving across the world in. In all the all the different ways, you know, and if that means, and if and if you can't use your legs, you have to move without, you know, without uh, using your legs, you know. Yeah. And um, and I and I, um, because I I but but to me the point of that is to me is that um, basically everyone is, you know, I would say that everyone is disabled in the sense that um, we're all. You know, struggling with our own difficulties, but um, and uh, and everyone um, expresses themselves, you know, in the way that they move. And uh, I were you worried about? But it was that. But I, I, I still found it really difficult. The kind of aspect of that, <laughs> like to, but but uh, uh, because, like you say, you know, it's like, like, oh my God, the guy is like, you know, dragging himself across the street, you know. Yeah. Um, that's shocking. Seriously. But um, you know, but I thought that it, but I, I think that difficult. I think there's often something, you know, when things are difficult, that often I think there's there's a lot in them that, you know, I think, you know, I I do believe that one should try to do what you're scared of. You know, because often what you're scared of is the exact thing that you find, you know, exciting or, and that's got, that's something really, you know, full of life, you know. Did it, did it ever scare you that, um, particularly in that video, that y you would be making a spectacle of their disability? Um, I well that idea occurred to me, but then I, but I thought but it, but we're you know it, but then I, I I I did think about that and there was there was some arguments about it. I had arguments with people about it, you know, the, and uh, but then I thought but but like I like the way these people move, you know. I actually filmed lots of people, videoed lots of people walking across the street, but I actually only use used the, I think all the ones I used really, most of them were people with what you would describe as some kind of physical disability, you know. But that was because the other people just seemed boring to me, you know. Like, I think that the way those people move across the street is a beautiful, you know, it's a beautiful dance, basically, you know. And it's beautiful, and that, and, um, and it's like full of life, and it's got the difficulty of life in it, you know, as well as the um, beauty of life, and and then, but so the idea of like not of somehow not, uh, I think it's only a problem if you think of the people as somehow victims, you know. Yeah. But I, I, but I was asking them if they would do this, 
and I was and I tried at all the people you know it's I think it's always like that with work it's to do with like talk if you're working with people like talking to them and like um I, so I, I didn't want to force anyone to do something you know like that they didn't want to do no R- remind me what the verse of the song is the song well that, that's the thing the song is called you return sometimes you return and that actually, yeah, thinking about that, that, but that the song was put with that in the end, th- not through much logic, but just because that was a new song I'd just written, and and be, and maybe because it had a really strong uh, beat, and um, I thought that it, that it, uh, it made it more like a dance, the the movements, you know. Uh, but the song is about a recu- uh, the you return is about um, I about someone or, 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 or a thought you know constantly re- you know occurring to you and just you know, like wherever you are it coming into your head you know and repeating. So is that then for you? Um, I, I hate to be quite so uh, referential, but is that really <laughs> what the point is? For you, the point of what? All of it, of art, of what you do. Is what the point? Returning, returning to an idea over and over, returning uh, to a. No, 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 that, no, no. I don't think so. Well, <laughs> so what? What is then? The point is to try and feel better. You know, the right try- where we the, began. What? Right where we began. Hi, <laughs> because you know. Basically, life's hard, and I want to feel better, you know. And and so I go about. I, I I I every day I try and find you know excitement and uh, beautiful things and people and, and uh, uh, that that make my life, you know, that make me feel better, you know. And then and then that doesn't really work, you know. The next morning I, I still feel bad, you know. And uh, I, so then I try and feel better again, you know, and, and then and then and then it all happens all over again, you know, and it doesn't seem to matter what you do, you know, it, uh, it ne- you know, it's it's a never-ending uh, sea of difficulty. It's it's especially frustrating for the viewer, right? Because we want to consume your work, so in a way, we're asking you to keep feeling bad. <laughs> right, aye. But the, aye, well, but the, see, the thing is, when I, I, but to me, I work, the, the, I think the reason I work is helpful often is that I just think, I, like if I, it's because it's a solid thing, I feel like, oh, yeah, that's great, I can rely on that, you know, that is brilliant, it's just that simple it's just that square of red or whatever you know and it, i feel like it's a relief you know i mean i if i see a you know that's what i think if i see a painting by you know frank stella or something like that you know like one of his black paintings that uh, uh, i think yeah that's 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 a relief you know yeah well thank you martin